Hey guys, just hopping on here to create a quick video of a reminder of how to factor, um, especially when A is not one. So we did give you this little um, hint or just reminder or tip that you always wanna make sure you're checking for that GCF first, greatest common factor, okay? So I'm just gonna do number one with you guys really quickly. So the first thing I wanna look out for is that GCF. Do those numbers three, seven, and two, do they have a greatest common factor? No, they do not. So I'm just going to move forward. The way that I like to factor when A is not one is I'm going to multiply my A value with my C value. My A value is three. My C value is two. So when I multiply those together, I get six. Now my goal is to find factors of six that are going to add up to that B value. My B value is seven. So what are factors of six that add up to seven? Well, this one's easy because it's just one and six. One times six is six. One plus six is seven. And everything is positive here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite by, um, and I'm going to factor by grouping. So there's another way that I can write 7x. I can write that as 1x plus 6x. And so I have 3x squared plus 1x plus 6x plus 2. And so now, like I said, I can factor by grouping. So I want to look at the first two terms and pull out a GCF. So what is my greatest common factor between 3x squared and 1x? Well, the only thing they have in common is x. So I'm going to pull that out. What's left when I divide or when I factor out an x is 3x plus 1. I'm going to do the same thing with the last two terms. What is my GCF? It's a positive 2. So when I take out that positive 2, I'm left with 3x plus 1. What is inside your parentheses at this step should always be the same. If they are not, then you... Um, didn't pull out the GCF or you just did something a little wrong. So now we're saying that we have 3x plus 1 times x plus 2, and this is in our factored form. You could also write that as x plus 2 times 3x minus, I'm sorry, plus 1. You know that the order doesn't matter there. So for this particular problem, I know my answer in factored form is 3x plus 1 times x plus 2. So I'm going to go up to this first page, and I'm going to look for that answer. And I see it right, double check, it's right here. 3x plus 1 times x plus 2. So this is my number one answer. So that says that I'm going to um, color black B. So that means everywhere I see a box that has a B in it, I'm going to color it black. So like, for example, I see some bees here, I see a bee, some bees here, some bees here and here. So this part could be very therapeutic to you guys. And so obviously, when you work these 15 problems, then you're going to find them here in this chart, and then you're going to color code this and it will reveal a picture. Okay, so just a little recap of factoring. You're multiplying your A times your C value and then finding factors of that that add up to your B value and then you'll just factor by grouping. Good luck!